true. So anyway, game one going to be on Smashville. Um, Lucas versus Greninja. Oh. So I've never seen this matchup. Uh, I can't say I have either. It's very rare you see either of these two characters, let alone uh, them, them together on the same screen. So, and um, so one thing you're probably gonna have to look out for is the fact that uh, Greninja can shadow sneak out of Nair combos. Okay. So yeah. Nair's gonna be a lot less useful. Uh, than, you know, Lucas normally does. Obviously, jab as well, which is why you see Mechos go for that uh, forward tilt right off the bat. That was really smooth. Yeah, and if, if I know anything about Mechos from Brawl days, you know, I like, I know that he loves to use Zare, and uh, yeah. Zare is and now it actually does so much better in this game than it was in Brawl. Uh, so I I think his neutral will be pretty based around Zare for the most part. You're probably not wrong. And he right now he has a very commanding lead, and having a lead or like playing against a Lucas with a lead is absolutely obnoxious. Oh, he oh, got this last hit. That was sick. I've never seen that as a Lucas main. I've only seen it on Ness for the most part. That was sick. Oh, that was a lot of damage. And now down throw up air is probably dead. Probably oh, Grinch is kind of heavy. He's fastball. He's not really heavy. So I mean he might live, but definitely getting close to that kill percent. You see Mech just go for it down yeah, throw up air. Yep. Yeah, just barely. Super strong stock. Mechos only at 28%. That is a, that's a pretty impressive showing for the first game, and I'm pretty sure all matches are 3 out of 5, and so we are going to have a lot of, uh, you know, adaptation able to happen pretty much in these sets, and I'm really looking forward to it, because, I mean, if you make it this far, especially, uh, you know, Wi-Fi, and there's a lot of good players here, too. It's not even just oh, like yeah. it's all Wi-Fi lords. Yeah, there were uh, almost 1,000 ends in this like, Yeah, that's, that's you, need, you need to be able to do that. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, deal with Wi Fi, which, you know, Mechos, he was like born in Wi Fi. He's part of the rotation crew. We actually have two members of the rotation crew in uh, Top 8, oh, yeah, which is cool. cool. That's cool, Mechos. yeah. Yeah, but Starman just can't seem to find much offense. Oh. And as I say, that, that almost kills. Almost gets, oh, oh, he almost got the shadow sneak out of his. Oh, oh, but the retort back goodness. air spike. Gonna do it for game one. Mechos looking really strong. That first lock was absolute obliteration. And then that one just. Yeah, I mean, he died at like 60. So that yeah, was. I mean, he had a pretty good reversal there. Like the back air. I didn't see that coming at all. You can't overcommit versus Lucas. I mean, in neutral or like in advantage, because he will have those turnarounds, whether it be pivot grab in neutral, PK fire, things like that, or he'll just end your talk with a back air. That yeah. was rough. That I mean, was rough. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty strong start. Uh, strong game one by Mechos there. I wonder what the bands and counter picks would be, or if Starman plays a different character to begin with. I would assume that the ban is going to be Final Destination, uh, because that's, well, that's going to best stage. It's okay. just going into the best because okay. you can't do anything about Shuriken. You you have to respect it or jump over it. And so if he's if he's you know if you're controlling the tempo regardless of how much you're controlling it mm -hmm. by because wait can you absorb? No, no. It's okay, not I was about to be like yo this match sucks. Yeah, then it's like <laughs> oh done. Yeah. Then it's like hope you have the grab uh grab release like shout outs to Brawl from Marth. Oh my goodness, that was dumb. Shout oh. outs to Brawl. That was great. Ah, <sighs> so, um. So if he so if he bans FD, you don't want to go to town and city because that's really good for Lucas. Yeah, down throw upper kills infinitely earlier there. Uh, I would. Do you don't? Do you want to try plat? I was thinking battlefield. But like then Lucas, if Lucas gets lead and he's camping under a platform, that's going to be a lot more annoying. Yeah, but if Greninja also gets the lead, Greninja naturally, you know, is a slower, more methodical character. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I don't really, really. Yeah, double really nice. I don't really know where they're gonna want to what are you go. Shrek? Really, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't remember. That was good. That was, that was 8 out of 10. Yes. We in there. Um, Hashtag really, really. Yeah, because I'm assuming he wants more flat uh, ground because you don't want the platforms to mess up your combos. So maybe Duck Hunt? Yeah, I can actually see that. And then it being able to camp the tree has the wall, because I'm pretty sure Greninja has a wall clean. Yeah, wall clean, wall jump, wall yeah. everything. So he's able to go a lot of, a lot deeper on his on his uh, edge guards. Yeah, I think Duck Hunt would be a pretty solid choice. Oh, that's just like some rogue, like, Lilat pick. Game before Town and City, even though we were, like, trashing the Please don't do it. Town and City. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, game two, going to go to Town and City. Again, I don't necessarily agree with this because of the fact that, uh... Just the fact Mechos or Lucas has easier kill confirms than Greninja does as a whole, and so if you're gonna be able to do those like consistently and earlier on this stage, that's a big problem. Yeah. And Starman, I don't know, he couldn't really hit it find his footing at all in game one, so I don't I feel like he needed more space. And it's like town and city's not too much more. See, there was the yeah. side being out of the air. That's pretty good. That's such a dumb mechanic. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was playing, you know, coffee yesterday and I kept bouncing up smashing and kept popping out. I was yeah. like, this is great. <laughs>
Not so forward smash shooters, or down tilt in general. Nothing more. Yeah. It's great. And so right now, Starman's starting off way stronger, actually understanding, like, kind of just getting hits in neutral instead of just Mechos running all over him. But Lucas is a character that's very momentum-based, so you might be losing at some point. But oh, wow, all oh, the PK fire blew up on the Shuriken and then hit, and it has a Herpox, so wait, no, that should go through anyway. That was weird. It, it might have, he might not have shot it. He might have hit it right before. Yeah. I always get confused. Greninja's dash attack always looks like his down tilt. His dash attack is really So Mecha is honestly the one trying to get in. Shields the Shuriken, misses the follow-up. Obviously on Wi-Fi, it is a little harder to get your uh, throw follow-ups because you have to pretty much guess DI instead of react to it for the most part. Yeah, very true. Especially at the lower percents when you have like less leeway. Like less time to do it. But Mechos, ooh, had him in disadvantage, but wasn't able to capitalize Starman with the retort. Oh, but gets shield. That was a super far grab. Yeah, Starman definitely establishing a better neutral game. Uh, better usage of the stage in general. As you said, FD is a really good Greninja stage, so he's abusing the FD like aspect of Town and City. Yeah. Ooh. Not really going to the PK free too much. That, that almost hit, yeah. <laughs> That would have been really bad. Ooh, down tilt. Not gonna get the up smash though. Good DI by Marcos and gonna miss the forward air. And so right now we have neutral, but uh close to kill percent is wow, he just jumped over that shuriken. Yeah, that was really good spacing. That was crazy. Forward air, not gonna do it. And now Greninja is a death percent, and obviously there are things that was weird. Yeah, was there are things that will kill uh Mechos, but I don't know so, what kill confirms he's going to have. At least especially on a slippery character yes. such as Mech or such as Lucas. Yeah, as you said, it's a little harder for Greninja to get those kill confirms anyway, so uh -oh. as the percent rises. Oh, like, he might just be is he an up percent? He's just an up throw percent, especially because Town City, right? Probably now. I totally I sometimes I just forget people have kill throws. Like Link. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, read that roll. Yep, and so very much, you see the adaptation because the first stock, oh, beautiful second no. PK fire. He doesn't have a jump. And so, yeah, he's gonna get trapped by the PK Thunder. Gonna go a bunch of stage hitting himself, but it's better because for some reason, have you seen how much lag uh, Lucas's PK Thunder has if you don't hit yourself? It is like double what oh, this has. I haven't seen it. It's no. so much lag. Oh, but get the forward air. That'll do it. Wow, Mecco's bringing that, get, bringing that stock back real fast. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, Starman already was a death percent, so it wasn't like too huge of a comeback. And both of them kind of getting stocks in the same way, which is funny, was, ah, you overcommitted for it. There. Yeah, sure. Ooh, oh. PK Freeze. His use of PK Freeze is actually amazing. I saw it a lot at Shine when he was playing doubles. Yes. Like, oh it was good when he two framed. Who did two frame? I think he two framed like Justin. Some of it, yeah. Or, no, no, like Nick Riddle. Oh, and, uh oh, so we got Nair combos, even though it's not supposed to work. But I mean, if the Nair hitbox is active right where he shadow sneaks, that is still going to get the hit. And now Mechos, 25% up and has the momentum, but Starman takes it right back. Yeah, Starman, uh, Looking a little sluggish, I say, the second stock. Like, is it the first stock? Ooh, good night. That's so smash. high. That's so much damage, too. Oh, ooh, got the read on the tech roll in, but didn't hold down smash quite long enough. Gonna recover to the platforms. Has to figure out a way to land, but he does. It's really actually difficult to uh, keep Greninja in the air because he has down air, he has retreating back forward air. He falls fast, so you have to like get your timing perfect. What the hell is there call out? Nekos has been just being like, you're not gonna shoot Shuriken. And he doesn't even forward. care about Shuriken. He's like, oh, you're charging it? Whatever. So he is a death percent from a Shuriken at the edge of the stage now, so he's gotta be careful. But Starman might be a death percent from down throw up air. Town and city, rage? Maybe. I think maybe call a few more percent. Some pummel. Sure. One, two, three pummels. Yeah, or some more rage. Like, Yeah. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that could have been a punish. Yeah, now absolutely. Yeah, now he's for sure a death percent. He's gonna Zare, no double jump. Down smash trying to get the neutral get up. Ooh, that was like a, a 7,000 bit. Like, that was so easy. Yeah. And so, oh, misses the grab there, reads the air dodge, but not no. the position. Lucas has very slippery air dodge, air dodges, not quite as much blowing forward smash. That was a random forward he smash. Just, that was the first time he's done that all set. Yeah, I mean, he got it too. <laughs> that was not his I would've got hit. Yeah. No, for sure would've got hit. Hit that home run, game two going to Mechos, and this is best of five, right? Yes. Okay. And so, ah. Uh, I mean, the town and city worked because it was like FD, but maybe we should, maybe he should try duck hunt, which is like continually has that room. Granted, Mechos can camp in the tree, but what's Lucas what is gonna? Lucas have yeah, exactly. Tree? Besides, just like tempo control, but right. he already he already controls enough tempo just in neutral as it is. So I mean, I could honestly see a town and city like uh, run Re back, yeah, yeah, or um, probably duck hunt. One of those probably. So yeah, hmm. I think uh, that game showed how well Starman adapted to the first uh, first game that he lost, and Mechos just adapted harder the second stock, I think. Yeah, because he wasn't, like, he wasn't quite a death percent yet, so...
he he was playing very strong that second stock. Obviously, he had to get the first stock off and then got that really strong lead at the beginning. It was like 50 to 20. Yeah. So Mecha is just, again, controlling the tempo. That's that's the name of the game for Lucas because Lucas doesn't have a lot of tools for offense. That's his flaw is he can't really push aggression very well. But right. when he is in control and people have to approach him, that's when he really shines. And that's where you see like the craziness um, from every Lucas player, but I'm obviously thinking of Tejeda. Yeah, you know, it's like, ah, I have a 10% lead. Hit me. No, now you're down a stock. Now hit me again. It's kind of like he's, he plays very much like Diddy Kong, I feel like. Yeah. So just turtle, turtley get big damage when they come in. Except uh, Lucas gets more damage than Diddy Kong. Bananas at work, so, you know. Yeah, Lucas has pretty good damage on that. Oh my god. Oh, it's so much damage. Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, obviously you're not going to see him much on Wi Fi probably, but he has the down to crystal combos. Yeah. We are going to see the town and city run back because he was doing well on that stage, obviously better than game one. Probably doesn't want to go to Duck Hunt. Um, and so. You know, here's game three. Yeah, it's a shame that he loses half the transformation time because Shiggs has to die. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, like we said earlier, he's not using the platforms pretty much at all. Yeah, they're both kind of just playing like it's FD for the most part. They were yeah. kind of like, ah, I'm on the platform, I need to land, but like, that's it. Yeah. Gets the nair. Ooh, and it was only the last hit nair, so he wasn't able to shadow sneak out. Nice PK fire into the PK right like, now. He did like 40 off of one grab. That was crazy. And yeah, Magos' uh, skill is Lucas. Is Oh, absurd. Yeah. I thought it was going to up smash to be quite Same. Honest. No, I thought. Oh, down throw up air? Or sorry, down throw down air? That's actually really smart because up air is not going to kill. Uh, you might not get the forward air. So, wait, no, he could totally get the forward air. But just the down air might lead into the, like, no tech up air. That's yeah. actually really smart. And right now, this is looking way more like game one. Oh, yeah. Mechos is just in complete control. Yeah, Mechos is on fire right now. I think a uh, down throw up air will still connect with him. Yeah. Oh, just forward throw? Okay. Yeah, no, that's not going to do it. But. <laughs> Oh, he countered it. Cool. Okay, that was nice. I thought he shadow snuck it. Yeah, that was me. Or up throw, that should do it. That yeah. move. The thing about Lucas is he has like kill More confirm. Kill he has a kill confirm, and then the minute the kill confirm doesn't work, you have three kill throws. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so it's kind of silly. And right now, just Starman has to figure out a way to slow down. Nice SDI. Yeah, that was pretty good. Haha, <laughs> that's the ESAM seal of approval with SDI. We need like that on every stream. Just like someone playing a bayonet or something comes, bah, ESAM seal of approval. <laughs> um, and so Megos hasn't got hit the stock. That's probably going to lead to a punish, but only 5%. Mecha is super Not comfortable, about to lap him. This is looking pretty much like over. Mecha is really strong right now. He, Because I feel like he probably doesn't have that much Greninja experience either. Probably I mean, not. I mean, they probably don't have any experience with yeah, each other's characters. Yeah. Then again, I feel like Lucas is more of a, you kind of you kind of see what you get. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to Greninja, where it's like, I don't know what's happening. And we know a lot about that. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. The shout out to Ice Study. He's so good. He's so good. Damn it. <laughs> and so, Starman needs to stop getting hit, like, now. It's really, like, any damage at this point is super big for Mechos because he's getting closer to that down throw upper kill percent. And once, you, once you're once you at death percent, you're, you stop being able to hit buttons. Yeah, you have to play that more passive. And as Greninja, you want to hit buttons. Especially against the Lucas. Definitely. I mean, Lucas doesn't have very, very many defensive options. I'd say it's more like a, it's more like a counter poke. Ooh, nice forward, forward smash. smash. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's more like a counter poke style as opposed to just like, like his roll's not that good, but his paper grab is ridiculous. Right. Because shout out to that like 14 frame grab buff for like no reason. That was way too big. Hey, tethers are bad. Let's buff Lucas. <laughs> oh, and only Lucas. Yeah. Like what? So oh, Starman yeah. did go do a good job bring it back, but he's getting again closer to that. He's just close to that ticking time bomb that is down throw up air. That is the snake grab from Lucas. Uh oh, forward smash, not gonna do it. He has that down throw up air percent. Yeah, Mechos has a giant lead, and it'll take a lot for him to cough this one, I'd say. Nice real roll read and the air dodge read. Beautiful. He has the momentum, but he has to play around this grab the rest of the game. And that's really difficult because tether grab is pretty good, especially on my back. Because you know you're not like it's it's just it's just hard to outspace people. It's kind of like you know the why little Mac is good on four glory. It's because right. you're not trying to counter poke. You're just trying to hit buttons. That's how hard it to react to the, the grab itself. You know, even though it's a pretty slow grab, it's still faster than the average tether grab. I think it's startup yeah. is like 13 frames, 12 frames, something like that, as opposed to the general 16, 18. Yeah. And then that cool. But he is doing a really good job. He's at 60, and this could be if he gets a lock, this might be game. Like, uh, oh, Ooh, super nice. shouting from super far. I want to see like a down set off smash. <gasps> oh, he got the read! Did he get? Oh, oh. He went for that, because that was game if he got it. Yeah. But Mecha's dying in, sm smartly knowing that like the only way I can die at this point is if I'm at the edge and I get hit by forward smash. Uh, but he's getting really close. Starman, are you gonna are you gonna let him land? Oh, I thought he was gonna I thought I was just gonna go up smash him. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, Starman bringing this back really hard to that forward air by Mecha's not gonna That's do it just so yet. Too much stage control. How do you get it's still get hard to get off the ledge versus Lucas? Oh, but he does. Okay. 
Oh, I think he's he's, he's uh, a little nervous. Yeah, that, and I think he's gonna be official still moves now. Oh, he just did the shadow sneak out of oh, yes. jab, 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 force jab, smash. Force smash. That's good. What a comeback by Starman. We counted him out, and suddenly he did a stock and a half, getting hit like four times. Yeah, that was great. You know, jab, jab, force smash, kind of a staple for uh, Greninja mains. Um, because people like to air dodge, and it's like Marth mains. Jab. It's like jab, jab up smash. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice mix up. Yeah, and he waited until. He needed it to do it, you know? First time he did it. Yeah. Whole set. So both um, both opponents are actually getting forward smash kills at random times to seal games. So yeah, it is surprise two forward smashes. smashes. Yeah. So 2-1 uh, Mekos' favor. Uh, so what do you ban against Lucas? Because I would ban Town and City. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, it's probably Greninja's worst stage, which to be honest, I'm not super knowledgeable on what that is. Probably Dreamland or Battlefield. I was going to say Dreamland or does mm, I feel like Lucas isn't gonna want to go to Lila though. He does have a tether, so it can mitigate the bad, uh, you know, Pika Thunder rip type of thing. Yeah, but it can still happen. But I feel like Greninja's recovery is just a little harder to control in that aspect. Yeah, you might like Shadow Sneak under the level. <sighs> terrible. Ooh, that'd be so bad. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Huh. So yeah, but I would assume that Mechus is going to kind of pick to whichever Triplat Starman doesn't ban. Probably. I think I said that wrong, but that's okay. No, you, you didn't. Okay, yeah, it goes to Battlefield. Battlefield. Because you're going to want to mitigate uh, Mechos' kill potential, essentially, is, is what I was thinking. So you ban Dreamland. It's kind of like, a lot of times I'll ban Dreamland against Mario instead of Battlefield, because yeah. he kills earlier on Dreamland. And so we are going to go to game four of Loser's Eights, Starman versus Mechos. So what were the adaptations you saw Starman do uh, at that last game, because he was down a whole bunch. Yeah, he just got a lot more slippery. Uh, he made it very hard for Mechos to hit him. Uh, and when you're doing that, especially on a Wi-Fi game, you know, that's, that's a pretty good path to victory. It looked like Mechos got a little impatient, right? Yeah, it felt like he wanted it too much. Like, he knew that he was winning by so much. Had a really big lead, and he was like, yeah, I can just, you know, do whatever. And I'll get he kill. Got, got that punish. Yeah, that was, that was, that was real. That was hard. Yeah. The snake act having, like, super big fangs, just able to, like, it's like I'm on his jaw just a little more. And yeah, so I feel like, uh, you know, there's the, obviously the big difference of, like, the, the two main styles of the game are playing to hit someone and then playing to not get hit. And I feel like Starman, for the most part, has been playing to hit Mechos, but that last game, he definitely played, I'm scared, I'm going to not get hit the rest of the game. Yeah, he turned it, it on. did pretty good. He turned it on to, I want to be safe. Yeah, he turned it on to, it doesn't matter. Oh, Mechos had that read, but just a few frames too slow. I'm pretty sure the first hit power shielded. Mechos going for a lot of force match. I think the impatience is kind of carrying over to this game. I mean, he still has a lead, a but he's, he's playing. He is, he is holding forward quite a bit. That would have been a silly combo from all the way across stage. Yeah. For real. Oh. And Mechos is the type of player to crumble in best of fives, from what I am aware of. He did play at a Paradigm Shift, which is the only offline tournament I've seen him play. <laughs> he was up 2 0 versus Puppe. And then Puppe started playing like really campy and defensive. And then Mechos just crumbled under it and got reverse 3 0'd. So. That might happen here. I mean, hopefully, obviously, for Starman and Starman's fans, uh, that'll happen. But Mechos obviously trying to play more solid. But again, Starman, he was down about 30 or 40 more percent than this, and now he's brought it back. First time he's countered on stage like that. And Mechos just gonna try to get these grabs, but he's not getting the roll reads. Ooh, he's the fire. That almost kills. Is that gonna kill? Maybe freeze? Nope. But Honestly, I feel like he should have gone out there. He didn't have a double jump. He didn't have, like, Shadow Sneak would have been bad. Oh, but the pivot grab up throw. Let him do it. And again, last stock potentially for Starman in this tournament. Um, but I'm pretty sure top eight, or people that place top eight still get, you know, some type of uh, reward for getting this far. Like the shirts or Maybe, something like that. Sure. It might just be top four. Oh, is that on tech on the platform? He actually could have up smash. Yeah, I thought he was gonna try to read a uh, tech roll. Or if he was a god, he could have like rar bared, jab locked him, and then like Stop. up smash. That'd have been too much. Dude, that's too much. That'd be sick though. And so now Mecho's going to play, going to turn his defensive play on because oh wow, he just those random shadow sneaks. That move is so. I was strong. just gonna say it's a very powerful move. It hits really hard. And I think it's stronger if you do it like backwards as opposed to forwards or something like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Actually, chat, let me know because we do have chat open. Ooh, Water shark into up smash. So much damage. 36 on board already. Yeah, Mecho starting to let his lead slip away yet again. But I mean. It's kind of just the nature of the game. I mean, he got hit twice. <laughs> like, yeah, true. 
so the neutral's kind of interesting right here. Oh, gets that full hop there. The full hop there to counteract the shuriken. No dump, no jump. See, oh, that's gonna be. He didn't get the punish. It wasn't fast enough because that's a whole lot of damage. That does like thirty if you get the full thing. Yeah, a little surprise that missed there. A little too slow. Greninja's up. He's not having too much leg on it. It's not like Lucario where he's like, Ugh, yeah, I'm gonna get up slowly and then check my legs and then dust off my pants and then I'm fine. Greninja just wants to fight. I mean, he's used to fighting with other Pokemon. He is meta. Yeah, he is uh pretty meta, I'd say. Although, I mean, Pokken is, has, you know, <laughs> Lucario isn't Pokken, he's pretty good there. True, true. Who's just gonna have to, yep, avoid that. Doesn't have a double jump though, so Starman can go off aggressive for this edge guard. Use the water, he can go more Force aggressive for the water. That's not gonna do it, Battlefield. Yeah, Starman brought back. He's gonna be able to recover though, like, so he's gonna assume- No tech! Game five, here we come. Yo, Starman playing super clutch these last two games. I think he just likes to win. Pretend he's gonna lose. He's just sandbagging the whole thing. <laughs> he's sandbagging his way into losers just so he could have a more tense road to victory. And then went down 0 2. And then was losing. He's gonna be the championship story here. For real. And then he's gonna win Jazz. Uh oh. <laughs> Beating both of us in a row because we'll for some reason be on the same side of the bracket. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Bear. Love you, Bear. Many hearts. You can't see us, but we're making hearts. Yo. So where do you think Megos picks after that? I would still say go Battlefield. Okay. I agree. Because, I mean, he died at like 150, and he, whereas he got a kill at 130, and then, you know, Starman was a death percent there. So... Yeah, I mean, it's not his fault. You know, I almost wish we had webcam. Why? <laughs> Just because it's funny. Because me? Yeah. No, leave me alone. We're going out after this, so we both showered before, so Jesse has towel head. I have towel head. That's it. That's just funny. Yeah, it, ke it keeps my hair still wet, so when I go, and it smells later, delicious. Oh, well, yeah. Legends. Only, only true uh, Smash players know what MBD's hair smells like. Dude, that's my. Favorite. It's one of the seven. <laughs> the seven wonders of the world. Seven wonders of the Smash community. <laughs> There's Ensuke's hands. <laughs> Drinking beer with mango. Drinking beer with mango. I have participated in that. Uh, we're not gonna figure this out in time for this next match because we are going back to Battlefield, as nah, I mentioned. Nah, Jigs has to die. There's my True. hair. Uh, hacks his wrists. Shaw. <laughs> I said we took his hands and you were okay with that. Because we think still playing! He shouldn't be. But he, whatever. So, game five. Uh, Battlefield, so... Oh, that's Jump. Jump. I think Jump they're both the like, yeah. Because no one really wants a fraudulent lag win, so they're waiting Especially for the Especially game game five and top eight. Yeah. Oh, God. With so much on the- That's oh. not good. Hello. Yeah, oh. So they're probably just going to restart, honestly. Well, none of the games have been particularly close to, to timing out, so... Yeah, they're restarting. Yeah. I mean, Starman's just going to be like, yo, USD twice, I'm going to take it. Yo, what if? <laughs> <laughs> I think we would yeah. veto- I think we would veto that decision. Nah. You'd Let's go, house! Like You'd respect it. Uh, okay, so we're on four wonders. So, so hands, wrists, beer, hair. Can like rubbing my bald head be one of them? No. I'm still mad because someone literally was like, I want to rub your head. And, like, and I let people oh, like, yeah, that's weird. Stuffing. And then they like pet me, like they put their hand on my forehead and just like, like they, they essentially they, they, they tried to Charlie horse me pretty <laughs> much on my head. I'm like, what are you doing? That's not Shut up. Horses. But that's pretty much what, but, but you can't, what it, Eric, you can't no. have two hands with it. That. No. That is not a Charlie They're horse. They're trying to rub my forehead off. It's an Indian burn. Oh, true. Oh, Charlie horse is the leg thing. Yes, that's when you wake up and my you bad. can't- You're right. Come Indian on. burn. Charlie horse in my head. <laughs> that would be so painful. It was, it was like that one Powerful Girls imagine? episode, the kitty. Oh, God. Like, that was- I was like- Could you imagine waking up and your head muscle was just like- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like top eight of a tournament, you're just like, like, no! It's like an aneurysm, like your vein explodes, like- you can so this game looking a little more kept constant in terms of the uh, in terms of the lag, so it's looking good right now for game five. Here we go after a bit of a delay because you know shout out to Wi-Fi. So game five between Megos and Starman. I'm excited. Yeah, this is looking. Uh oh. Help! Dun 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 dun. All right, so Megos is obviously icing Starman right now. He's like, he's like, nah, Megos man. has more momentum. I he's feel like, like, nah, man. What? What do you? He lost the last two games. Do you know the definition? But in those games, he had. Do you know the definition of momentum, sir? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Because, you know, Charlie Horse, like, let me burn you real quick. Really, really? Like, come on, dude. Really, really? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I'm still mad at that. Oh, no. He's no good. Well, guys. It'll look better. Oh. As I say that. If you can get perfect pivots on Wi-Fi, the connection is fine. As the, the smash ball comes up. Yeah. Indicating that he gets perfect pivot. So we might actually have to let these two play. Alright, Hunger Box pop off. So that's another wonder. True, so that's five, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's two more. Pew Fat. Pew Fat complimenting your doubles play. It's a wonder. Um. Can't even see chat to have suggestions from them because my chat's being weird. <laughs> what if you're causing the lag? How? I don't know. <laughs> like. Your computer's not working properly. Literally impossible. I mean, it's very possible it's not working properly. I'm looking for it. That doesn't make sense, though. So, Brawl doubles at Dream Knight? <sighs> I'm only Pika. I'm going Meta Knight. Sure. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're probably going to let them uh, play offline. Because you don't want to mess up the integrity. You know, we'd rather not show what happens, I feel like, than mess up the integrity. Or we can just, you know, try to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, reconnect, because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what you do if you're trying to, you know, if you're ever a Wi-Fi fiend, uh, you know, you're just, just like, oh man, the lag's kind of bad, disconnect, go all the way off Wi-Fi, get all the way back on Wi-Fi, oh, it's looking fine. Yeah, and that takes a lot of time.